Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome back to another weekly meal prep. I want to thank Birch Living for sponsoring this week's video. I'll be telling you a little bit more about that later on in this video. So this week was a little bit different. We were getting ready to go on vacation out of town and the girls were going to stay with my mom and my mother-in-law for the week and um, I wanted to just give my mom a little head start on some food and just help her out so I decided to prep some snacks some meals and just things that she can have on hand for her my dad and my girls while we were away a lot of this stuff is very very simple and it's also simple to reheat and eat and that was my goal so one of the first things I did was make a honey mustard style chicken we really like this chicken and I decided to go ahead and bake it up so that all she would have to do is throw it in the air fryer or her microwave whenever she was ready to reheat it and this of course could be used in a lot of different ways you could use it just for eating plain or you could cut it up and use it in a salad either way it's great to have some cooked chicken on hand I love what honey does to chicken. It just gives it that great caramelized coating and really makes it delicious. The other thing I was prepping was some barbecue or sloppy joes, whatever you call it. So I just fried up the meat and chopped it up with my meat chopper. And then I just do a little mustard ketchup and a little bit of barbecue sauce. And I didn't realize how much grease was in this meat whenever I went ahead and put the sauces in. So you're going to see me here scooping out some of the fat just because there was a little too much going on. I did put everything into pans that she could dispose of if she needed to just to make sure that I wasn't making a lot of extra dishes for her. Then the other thing I wanted to prep was some chicken noodle soup partially because I was trying to find a really good recipe that I could do some home canned chicken noodle soup. So I figured just to do a test run, I might as well make some up. So I did actually take half of this batch and put it in the freezer and then the other half I gave to my mom for this week and I did use a gluten free noodles we are headed more towards gluten free with our family there are mainly a couple family members that really need to eat gluten free so you're going to be seeing a little more gluten free coming from me um, but as always I like to give all kinds of recipes and different options for everyone so this recipe is online i will leave the link below but it's kind of a more creamy chicken noodle soup which i thought would be really good and it ended up being a huge winner in our house i also pulled out some of my home canned chicken breasts for this this is so delicious if you've never home canned chicken it really makes delicious chicken All right, let me tell you a little bit more about Birch Living. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. As you can see, it was so simple to set up and was shipped right to my door. It's specially created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind and offers an increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support. Unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses make it hypoallergenic, both allergen and mildew resistant. Throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. 
A 100-night sleep trial is their guarantee that comes along with the purchase of your Birch mattress and a 25-year limited warranty on all of their mattresses. This mattress is crafted with eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. I love my Birch Lux mattress, and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, definitely check out Birch. You can click on the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash Adeline for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Okay, back to the chicken noodle soup. So I went ahead and used this chickpea pasta. It's our favorite brand and I love the texture. I do tend to cook it a little bit longer than what the packaging says just to get a nice tender noodle, especially for a chicken noodle soup. I did use a bone broth, which also has added health benefits versus regular broth. And then I added in my home canned chicken. This chicken actually tastes like it's been in the crock pot all day. That is one reason I love using home canned chicken and instead of using regular whole kernel corn I used a creamed corn and I can't wait to can my own creamed corn this summer I just don't have any on hand so I used some from the store and I felt like it added to the creaminess of the soup Next, you're going to be making a roux, which is basically some flour and butter, and you wanna whisk it all together until it gets thicker, and I just added a little broth at a time to help it not stick to the bottom of the pan, and you can definitely use a gluten-free flour to create this, and then you wanna add in your dairy products. I had some sour cream on hand that I was trying to get used up before we left for our trip, so that is what I used to give this its a little bit of creaminess. So if you're looking for the perfect chicken noodle soup recipe, I highly recommend this one. At this point, my maple honey chicken was ready to be put into a container, and then I did make sure that I dumped all of the marinade and juices across it as well. Next, I grabbed a jar of my home canned apple pie filling. I have so much of this because whenever I went to make it, I made way more than I realized. And so we have a lot of this. So I'm trying to be a little bit creative on using it up. And I decided to try and make a baked oatmeal with this on the bottom. And this turned out amazing. I'm definitely going to be doing this again and I'm just showing you my big five gallon buckets since I've been buying my grains and things in bulk and I love those lids that are sealed and you can turn them to access what's inside. It's just a great way to hold bulk items. I'll leave the link for the lids below. They're not the cheapest but they do have a genuinely really good seal on the inside so you can screw the lid back on and you know that it's airtight and all of the contents will stay nice and fresh. I will leave the link for this baked oatmeal recipe below as well. And I think I had to bake it a little bit longer than what the recipe originally called for just because it had that added moisture from the pie filling on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so I think I mentioned in my last freezer prep video, I was trying to use up some potatoes I had left over from canning potatoes. I had bought like 125 pounds of red potatoes to can, and I had a few bags left over, so I was trying to get creative with them, and I decided to make this cheddar sausage potato bake, and this looked so good. I was a little bit sad that I wasn't going to be eating some of it. <laughs> it really turned out delicious, and it was fast and easy to prepare. So I believe this recipe may be a crock pot recipe if you click on the link below, but I wanted to make sure this was all ready to go. All she had to do was throw it in the oven to warm it up. So I did boil the potatoes so that they were mostly cooked so it didn't take very long for her to make up this dinner. Mm -hmm. 
Also, if you'll see, I was crumbling up that cheddar cheese. That's because that is some of the cheddar cheese that I have vacuum sealed and put into my freezer. I have not shown you all how I do that yet and how to freeze cheese, but I may include that soon in a video. Next, I made up some egg salad. I just thought this would be an easy cold lunch that she could put together into sandwiches along with some of the fruits and veggies and it helps to get some added protein in. I don't have exact measurements whenever it comes to my egg salad. I basically just use some mayo and some yellow mustard. And then if I have it on hand, I really love to throw in the everything but the bagel seasoning. I just think that it's so delicious and it adds an extra texture as well. Next, I wanted to prep a bunch of the fruits and veggies I was going to be sending with. So I got them all washed up and cut up some of the strawberries. They were just huge. <laughs> I think with spring coming on, the strawberries are starting to really get yummy no matter where they're coming from. So I also cut up a watermelon. It wasn't quite as ripe as I had hoped, but either way, the girls really loved it. And you'll see that I used the rest of it here in a minute to divvy out into bowls for them because they were really big for it while I was cutting all of this up. I cut up carrot sticks just to give a nice variety of fruit and veggies. I feel like whenever I have it prepped, they are more apt to go get fruits and veggies out to snack on versus something prepackaged. So that's why I try to get things cut up every week if possible. I did also grab a few of my home canned veggies off the shelf. All right, I am totally done and I'm really happy with everything I was able to get prepped for her. Normally I wouldn't necessarily do something like this, but my mom is actually coming back from being away a whole entire week herself the day that we are leaving to go away for vacation. So she's coming home to no prepped food, nothing. She's not prepared food wise and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just get some things ready for her so that it's not so hard on her. So obviously the fruits and veggies can be used for snacks, lunches, um, just whatever and I actually had some extra hard boiled eggs I did not make into egg salad and my girls love eating just regular hard boiled eggs for breakfast or snacks. They like to peel them themselves so I just threw them in this bag for her. Then here I've got the um, potato and sausage casserole. This is the baked oatmeal which looks amazing. I've never made it this way and I'm so excited because I did a lot of apple pie filling um, when I canned it. So I thought this would be a great way to eat it up but not have it just be pie. It could be a little healthier. Um, and then here I got two containers of this soup. This soup is so delicious. I think I'm going to try to modify it and actually can it. It turned out absolutely amazing. And one of these I think I'm just gonna throw in the freezer and the other one I'll send to my mom's. I did get some buns um, out of the freezer. I like to stock these up and throw them into my deep freezer just for the sloppy joes and the egg salad. I just thought it would be nice for her to have that on hand. In here, I've got the honey maple chicken 
and she can pair that up with some of these veggies. I just grabbed some of my canned veggies from downstairs, so I have some green beans, some baby carrots, and then potatoes, and generally what we like to do with these potatoes is drain them off and throw them in the frying pan with butter, salt, and pepper, and make them nice and crunchy on the outside. Oh, they're so good. So they're, they're basically like potato wedges that way. I got a loaf of my homemade bread out of the freezer for her and then she hasn't tried my apple butter that I just recently made and I know mom doesn't have any apple butter on the shelf right now so I'm sending that along but she'll have jelly and stuff there. So I'm very happy with this. They can eat this with peanut butter and this with peanut butter or ranch and usually these they pretty much down just by themselves. They love them so much. But I know this is gonna help give her a great boost. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on everything, label everything, um, put foil on the pans, and write on them if they need any instructions. And I'll probably load this up and get this over to my mom's house. I hope that this video inspired you. If you're new here, please subscribe. I have a lot of meal prep inspiration for you. I go for healthy things and family friendly things and just a good mixture of a lot of different types of meals. And don't forget to leave me a comment below. That always helps my channel out. And I will see you all in next week's video.